This thing is incredibly helpful. So what kind of crazy item is this that Rex strapped onto his rifle now? Looks like some kind of wannabe grenade launcher device. A lot of people will say this looks a little bit goofy and are very curious what in the heck is going on. Is a rocket launcher? Yeah, have you seen it? Is that a rocket launcher? Yeah. No. Here, light behind it. See what you see if you hate it. Oh. All right, now zero in on something. It's a heavy gun. Pretty easy to get steady, though, isn't it? Yeah. Did you notice that? Am I supposed to load? You crazy fool. I think there's ammo in there. I think your dope's on the right or the left hand side of the receiver. I didn't dial it in or nothing. Actually, it's dialed up kind of far. <laughs> Where were you shooting? Oh, shit. from yesterday. Yeah, 1100 last time. Yeah. So, I don't know. What does it say for 530, 70 degrees is three point. Let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm dialing. Sorry. 2.68, 3. Point, probably 3, yeah? Yeah. 500 is 2.68. Hold on just a minute. I am golden. Where's it blowing the bullets this time? Do you remember? That's well, kind of well, from the back. Well, the wind, I could see the thermal. They're kind of going to the, to the right. Let's just try one of them uh, maybe dead center kind of deals. Maybe a tiny bit left. Yeah. Hit. Yeah, it's pretty much center. It's like too easy, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that really, really makes it steady. It's what the Egyptians must have used to make their pyramids. 
<laughs> yeah, you're smacking her. Oh, the mag fell out. How did that happen? <laughs> That's uh, check out the trigger mag release on that bad boy. Check out, the, look at the mag release button. See how huge it is? Yeah. That's for I quick. It with my finger. Yeah, that's for quick detach. Yep. Yep. So let's take a closer look at this device and see why someone would strap this on their rifle. Now, I don't know if you guys remember back when you were kids, but there was a cartoon called uh, Sword in the Stone, and it had a little cartoon owl character that was uh, one of the wizard's friends or something named Archimedes. Now, if you're familiar with Archimedes, Archimedes of Syracuse was a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, and inventor. He did not actually invent the lever, but he did give a really good explanation of the principle involved in his work. And likewise, Accuracy Solutions did not invent the principles used in the bipod extension device, but they done a very good job taking advantage of Archimedes' lever principle. Uh, and Rex is going to do his best to give an explanation of how this thing works. So for those of you who are pretty familiar with my channel, been watching for a couple years, you might remember back a little while ago, Rex got sick with some uh, stuff which he had to take some uh, chemical warfare to get rid of. Did some mustard gas derivative type chemotherapy for a while, but he did survive. However, it did take its toll on my nervous system. And uh, since that deal, I've actually struggled with being able to lay down and establish what they call a steady shooting position, which is actually very, very important if you're going to do long range precision shooting. So over the last couple of years, uh, over my travels even, I've had to take it kind of easy on trying to shoot the precision rifles. And uh, the couple of times that I did try to lay down behind them, it was quite frustrating. My wife was actually keeping up with me and beat me uh, in front of some other really cool high speed guys that I got to work with. And I thought, hey, that's uh, that's not cool what happened, you know. And I thought maybe all those good times are gone and, and far away. And uh, these guys had mercy upon my soul and my troubled body. And they sent me a Bipod EXT accuracy extended device to review. And I thought at first this is a goofy item. And I, I kind of get the idea of the principle behind it. Uh, but I didn't understand until I attach this thing to one of my rifles uh, how it actually plays out in the field so that's what I want to communicate to you guys today so to understand the principles behind the design of the bipod EXT I, it's going to help to kind of visualize the rifle as a lever okay and the bipod would be the fulcrum of that lever right and if the bipod situated kind of in the middle of the rifle where your barrel's hanging out over the front and then the action and the stock and stuff is hanging out over the back is kind of an evenly uh, distributed lever over the, the fulcrum. And with the bipod EXT device, it's not really utilized obviously to lift weights or anything like that, but it is developed to move that fulcrum farther to the opposite end of that lever. And for the more leverage that the user obtains on his end, utilizing toe support, for us long range precision shooters or us uh, varmint hunters or anyone who tries to get the rifle as steady as possible, especially when deployed from a bipod laying prone, you're probably familiar with the concept of using the toe support of the rifle to uh, try to steady out your crosshairs and get that rifle as steady as you can. And for those of you who have struggled with the long range shooting, uh, you will know that it's very difficult sometimes to situate the sandbag under the toe support of the rifle in such a way where it's actually, the crosshairs are perfectly steady where you want them to go. And then it, it puts a lot more emphasis on you timing the shot, trigger control, breath control, all this stuff, trying to get everything just perfect so that when the rifle goes off, the crosshairs were kind of sort of where you wanted them to be. And uh, that's one of the stressful parts about long range shooting, especially for me in the last couple years as my nerves have been kind of shot. And uh, I can also sympathize probably too with some people who have aged a little bit and uh, have a hard time just being steady. Uh, some of us are kind of wiggly and shaky uh, for various reasons. And even for people who are very good shooters inherently, uh, this can drastically amplify your level of steadiness so when you move the fulcrum way way farther away from you towards the muzzle of the rifle because uh, this thing is extendable you're going to find that you have a lot more forgiveness in terms of wiggling around the rear end of the rifle the toe of the rifle and it's not really translating into a lot of movement on the crosshairs 
And um, I mean, understanding these things intuitively and mechanically and mathematically is one thing, but it, it actually did surprise me when I finally got to lay down behind this thing. I took it out kind of grudgingly because uh, it's a relatively awkward looking device when it's attached to the rifle, although it doesn't take up hardly any weight because of the carbon fiber design, but it's just something goofy and I like to keep my stuff sort of streamlined. But I'll tell you what, um, when you have this thing attached, when you use the quick detach attachments and attach it to the Picatinny of your uh, chassis design, your stock design, and you extend it a little bit farther out there, and I didn't even use the full length, I put it out uh, towards the end of the muzzle, and when I first laid behind it and got my toe support situated, and I was shooting at about 1,100 yards with the 243 Winchester and my 105 grain aim axis, I was actually pretty surprised how steady I felt. And I thought, man, man, I must have got better over the years. <laughs> and I, then I felt uh, some of the muscles twitch in the neck and the, and the face and stuff like that. And the, the fingers were twitching. And I could tell that I was actually just as wiggly and twitchy as I normally am. But I was actually quite pleased to see that the crosshairs were pretty much staying in exactly in the center of that steel. And I thought, huh. <laughs> that's pretty sweet so I was happy and actually it was the first time in two years I actually had fun shooting my long-range rifle again because I got to uh, actually zing some in there at 1100 and uh, as soon as I remembered how to to adjust for windage with hold off because <laughs> the guy gets rusty after a couple years forgetting to, to call the wind properly uh, it was fun and I actually laid down uh, I think I emptied out 50 rounds and just knocked the heck out of my steel at 1100 and uh, that was a lot of fun. It, so I was very, very grateful to have the opportunity to try this thing out. And I actually did get a chance to take this up to Range Zulu, a top secret location where we do some of our long range experimentation. Uh, and uh, we were shooting at various targets at different ranges. And I had a couple of the participants of the Rex Reviews project with me as well. And they got to try it. And uh, we were having absolutely no problem getting on target and staying steady. So as goofy as this thing might look at a glance initially, it is incredibly helpful uh, to anyone who normally struggles with keeping them crosshairs perfectly steady. And I can't uh, stress the point enough how important it is to get a perfectly steady support. And taking advantage of the raw mathematical principle of just increasing the length between the end of the lever, which is where you're manipulating the toe of the rifle, and the fulcrum, which is the bipod, the longer that is, the more movement it takes on the far end, like on the stock end, right, to translate that wiggle in into the crosshairs. So it really, really helps. I would say, not exaggerating, it makes it twice as good or three times as easy, hit, maybe think. more. Uh, it's hard to quantify this, but I will certainly tell you that it makes it like way easier to stay steady, um, even with the thing not completely extended. So let's take a look at the device itself here. It's actually a pretty neat engineering feat. This is something that's uh, been known forever that people can do. And people back in the old days, sometimes this was never really widely known, would take advantage of things like wooden dowels or different uh, devices for certain special applications. Some of the bench rest guys, some of the varmint hunting guys who just deploy from a static position uh, wouldn't mind having a giant, heavy, weighty item attached to their rifle to really give them that edge to get real steady. And it's, it's kind of a secret that a lot of guys had for a long time, but no one actually made one that was handy. <laughs> <laughs> and so these guys actually kind of figured out uh, with the modern materials available using polymers and uh, aluminum and also carbon fiber material uh, that you can have one of these items that's actually can be compact into a relatively uh, stowable size. This thing is collapsible. It telescopes out. You have two different telescoping tubes that come out of the main tube. It attaches with, a, I think they're a 40 millimeter scope ring onto a Picatinny rail. So if you have a chassis with a Picatinny rail or a quad rail, it's going to be very easy to attach. If not, the kit actually does come with uh, quite a, a setup to get it to be able to attach. If you got a, a classic style stock or a, a fiberglass stock, whatever, it, it does come with the rails, a tilted rail that you can use on a more standard style stock and some more straight rails so that you have the equipment needed when you buy this package to actually get it mounted to your rifle. Uh, if you do have a normal style stock, you might have to drill a couple holes if you don't have a Picatinny rail on there already. Uh, but uh, just be advised that when you do have the rail mounted, it is very easy to detach this thing and reattach it. So uh, the way that this could be deployed in the field is you put this uh, bipod extender, you collapse it in on itself so it's relatively compact. 
And uh, you, or you can stick it in a pouch or stow it in the bag that it comes with or even keep it in the nice case they include with it. And uh, when you're ready to shoot, you simply uh, take it out and uh, snap it onto your rifle with the two quick detached levers. And then you loosen up one of the clamps, a polymer lever clamp, and it extends. And you can actually extend this thing like really long if you want to gain the maximum length on the lever system, on Archimedes lever. Uh, so you can go up pretty far. And it actually is pretty surprising given how thin the material is. It's a carbon fiber. It's very thin, but it is also very rigid. Carbon fiber is an, a very, very interesting material and uh, very good for applications like this where you just need a raw... Uh, support mechanism that's relatively rigid that is not going to weigh a lot. So that's one of the reasons why this thing is actually possible now to actually use this in field applications where a guy formerly would, might not have used it. Now if you're running around just carrying the rifle at port arms or if you're engaging uh, enemy combatants in a designated marksman role, you might not need to worry about using this device. However, if you do have even a couple seconds to lay down and make a prone shot, it only takes another second to attach this and another second or two to get it extended and you have radically increased your steadiness potential. And uh, for those shooters who do lay down from the shooting position prone, this is incredibly handy. Also, uh, it is possible with this uh, device on there is you can turn that bipod any direction you want to go in the wink of an eye. And so for uh, shooters who are trying to gain artificial support off a a vertical structure uh, if you're leaning up against a tree up against a hay bale or uh, whatever you're doing or a doorway or a wall uh, sometimes some degree of artificial support is a lot better than zero artificial support so having this device able to plant it up against a firm obj object is going to be a lot better than just kind of standing there waving in the wind or uh, wiggling with your pulse and everything else this really firmly plants the rifle any which way you can even turn it upside down potentially uh, if you were uh, inside a structure and uh, wanted to uh, gain support and there was something like uh, you had a frame of a window you're shooting through or a doorway or something or sometimes there's a uh, weird uh, items that you can't really utilize normally with the with the normal bipod device because you have to be right up on it uh, but with the extension you can actually situate the rifle a lot farther back from the support so it dramatically increases your ability to use different items as support uh, for different applications of fire uh, for myself i just basically use this thing shooting prone and as you can see in the videos here i'm having a lot of fun actually hitting targets and uh it's something that really uh, it's hard to explain and it's it might not even be easy to believe that it's something this simple could actually make that big of a difference but it is a very smart design just like a long wheelbase on a pickup or anything else it's the same general principle it's going to give you a lot smoother of a ride it's going to take a lot more wiggling on one end of the system to produce the overall wigglage at the other end of the system if you want to use the colloquial english uh, but uh, to make a long story short definitely consider this as an option especially if you're someone who wants to gain maximum steadiness or, or especially for someone like me who is now kind of struggling uh, with the steadiness and you need a little bit of a artificial support enhancement and you'll see a lot of people in the precision shooting world especially in, in some of the com competitive circles utilizing strange support enhancement mechanisms uh, and so this is another one to add to that toolbox that can actually be very useful and uh, with its lightweight collapsible design this is something you can throw in your kit and actually take with you a field and it's something that actually after reviewing it I'm going to beg them that maybe I can hang on to it and I'm going to kind of use it. I'm going to keep it on that 243 because that's one of my go-to rifles. I shoot it all the time and uh, it's just a lot more fun to lay down and be able to be on target right away and not be wiggling. Yeah, I actually found that I didn't even hardly even need to rely on the sandbags under the toe at all anymore. I could just clench my uh, my fist and with the blood pulsing and everything else through the fist, just kind of even muscle in the toe of the rifle a little bit. It was surprising to see how steady everything was so it radically increases uh your your forgiveness level and your cushion level when you're wiggling around trying to get steady this thing is going to be uh rocket fuel for you so i hope that uh, this answers any questions i've seen a lot of people were asking about this they've seen it in the background on a few other videos uh so i was very happy to do this review this is actually an item 
Uh, as far as peripheral equipment items that surprised me, I didn't think it would be as effective as it was, and I was legitimately and sincerely not even lying surprised uh, <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, so take it or leave it. That's what this thing is, and that's how it works. Hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Add this information to your mental tackle box, and if it's something you want to use, add the actual item to your tackle box. All right, we'll catch you on the next review. Stay tuned. we got lots more fun stuff coming up in the future. So